Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. Hello, everyone. I am your host, Andrew Ariano, JunkieMonkeys.com. Join me as Michael Medina, United. Grant Fierro, United. Angie Shanley, United. Ooh! we got a lot to talk to you guys about today. Uh, lo and behold, the first uh, topic that we will get into is, uh, tell me all about this uh, Adidas tour, Grant. Tell me where they started and tell me where they ended. Because where it ended, you attended. Um, yeah, I don't even know where they started, to be honest. But I guess we'll just go with where they ended because that's where I was. They had uh, The last stop was at the Trans World Park, which is here in San Diego, up in Carlsbad. Uh, pretty much. Hey, someone has a TV on in the background. I should turn that off. Turn that shit off. <laughs> uh, pretty much. It was, uh, they skated like Adidas had built obstacles and brought them out, and they had some team riders there from that were on the tour skating them, and then some shops from San Diego built stuff. Um, and the shops brought out uh, obstacles they built, and it's pretty much just like a. They call it a demo skate jam. I think that's the term they use, but it was just like pretty much everyone gets to skate. So it was tight because I think it's fun. I've never really gone to too many demos, but I, I thought it was sick how it was like everyone was able to skate with the, the pros instead of like just everyone standing around watching. You know, as I'm looking up the research, because you didn't know the answer, I was hoping you knew the answer for Adidas. The the tour is still going on. It didn't uh, end. Well, they're it, taking a break. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a significant. They're gonna break. go to the East Coast, but not yet. Yeah, start in Seattle, then hit up Portland, the SF. Not Skate Filet, San Francisco, Los Angeles, the SD, New York on the 23rd of September, and Boston will be the last stop yeah. on the 25th. Yeah, it was uh, it was sick though. I mean, pretty much most well, of the team. What was sick about it? It was well, sick. But so, so, it, it was fun. I, my favorite part was watching Miles skate, probably because a lot of the other team riders on the trip were hurt or um, seemed tired or something, just weren't skating <clears> too much. But Miles was definitely freak, still on it, skating hard. Um, Silas, too, and Pete Eldridge were skating. Um, day one had hurt his ankle, so he's kind of just chilling, but uh, I don't know. My, Miles seemed like the main attraction. Because I, of, definitely, I, mean, I definitely want you to note what kind of board Miles was riding. Crooked. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 mean, know, I, I know tweet, tweet, or, uh, Grant had a tweet the other day. Was it yesterday? <laughs> No, it was a couple of days ago. I said that one um, was excellent. Yeah, can you reiter reiterate that? For yeah, me, I said uh, no matter who Miles Silva ends up skating for, I think he's made it pretty clear what boards he likes to skate because yeah. pretty much, pretty much since his he left Organica, yeah, I mean he skates the PLA, the shop he skates where he's had their boards a little bit, but um, and I've seen him with the Habits hat maybe once or twice, but for the majority it's just crooked or real. So obviously he, uh, he seems to be hyped on his board skate, but tell me about the know, gentleman. Just... Tell me about the gentleman that took an Xbox controller and went inside the van and yeah, decided to play funny. a little bit of video games. Uh, yeah, Tyshawn. I don't know if he was hurt or just tired from the whole trip or whatever, but he was kind of just chilling. I didn't even see him bring his board out actually. And then uh, we were sitting <laughs> over by the Adidas van, and and he opened <clears> the back and got an Xbox controller and then just went inside the van. <laughs> So I guess they had an Xbox in there, but it was funny. No one seemed like they were bummed on it. Like, I don't know. I mean, those dudes, it's a trip. I'm sure they get tired. Oh, I'm uh, sure, man. Yeah, Can't, so he was just chilling. No, no, yeah, no, we're not blaming him or anything. It was, it looked, yeah. I mean, he, he looked like he was were, having a good time. Was the crowd bummed that he wasn't skating? I didn't hear anyone talk about that, no. I think maybe, like, if it was more of a traditional demo where it's just, like, watching the team riders, but everyone, I think everyone was pretty hyped on the fact that, like, you were able to skate with the team, like. I think that's but, the best way to do yeah, it. Yeah, it was super sick. Like they had this kicker over rail thing, and it's like everyone's skating. Miles is going, yep. and the random homies, like everyone's just skating the thing. It was super fun. Um, yeah, it was that's tight. How, that's I was how they fun. Day one was hurt, but he got yeah, to skate sucks. a little bit. But he, he got hit. It, oh, I'm sorry. He told us that at the LA stop, which was the day before, uh, a scooter had hit his ankle, and so his ankle was super oh, swollen. Oh my god. Yeah, a little kid scooter flew into it. Of all fucking things to get day one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a bummer. You know, there's a lot of highlight from, from my good friend Billy Jackson. I haven't talked to Mike Peck about it, but I can imagine he has uh, similar, the same effect that Billy shared. When day one's song came up and said hello to Mike and Peck by the first name and June, 
Now tell me, because you were there, I could read it, uh, repeat what that Billy told me, but can you share yeah. uh, first-hand experience? Did you happen to see this uh, introduction? Yeah, pretty much. Like, we were just, I was chilling with Mike, Billy, and June, and then Billy didn't bring his board because his foot was hurting. Uh, so then Billy was like, hey, can I borrow your board? Like, we're going to do a back-to-back -back thing with day one. I was like, sure. And then I was like, oh, I can film it for you guys if you want. So then... Uh, they kind of just said what up. They, they filmed their little back-to-back -back thing, which was sick for them because they're all super good at manuals. So it was a little back-to-back -back on the mani pad. Billy, Billy posted it. I'm sure Mike and June. I know. Yeah, I think all three of them posted it. Um, so that was sick. They just filmed it. And obviously, or, um, Daywon knows them a little bit just through Instagram. And I know Billy won a contest that uh, Daywon and almost did for a board. And so he's kind of just known who they are through their Instagram posts. Uh, but it, it, they looked so hyped to actually meet Day One, and Day One was like familiar with who they are and with their footage that they've been posting and stuff like that, which was super sick. And then I like Day One and I introduced ourselves to each other and talked for a second, but um, it was sick to watch them interact. And Day One was just super cool to everybody. I'm so, very yeah, nosy. You said him. you said you spoke for a second. What was spoken in that second? Uh, well, he was kind of already talking to them, and I was just with them. And so I just said, he just like put his hand out and shook my hand and we said each other's names and I don't think there's really anything other than that. But then that when Billy posted their back-to-back -back clip, um, I commented something like legendary moment or something like that. And then Daywon replied to me because he realized, because Billy gave me film credit, so he realized that I was the kid that filmed it. And Daywon replied something like, like apologizing because he was the only one that messed up on their trick. So we had to, I think it took like three tries. Cause they, well, I mean, they wanted to doing 180 fakey manual, so it was like the hardest thing. But, oh, that was the easiest um, trick, gotcha. No, 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 well, I would say it's the hardest trick. No, that's no, why he easy, e easy for me and Alexis, oh, easy for we're just chilling. <laughs> just chilling. <laughs> I'm starting yeah, to bite a little bit of Alexis' funny. stupidity. I'm just chilling. Yeah, we're, we're just chilling right now. Say that like it's gay filet. Like everyone You know, I was that. trying to make the transition from, from uh, day one and saying he's associated with the Almost uh, Skateboards, which is the Almost video, because I mentioned Alexis, we're going to go with his Barracks interview. A written interview? God damn, that thing's long. <laughs> Did you really? really? I, don't long? Even, I didn't think it was that long. Too long. I'm pretty sure I listened to the same interview on your show, Drew. I told you that that it was. It seemed like the exact same interview, like at least the first half of it, anyways. Uh, well, I didn't read the whole thing. Uh, th that's how long it was. I just stopped... <laughs> <laughs> and then I noticed in the first photo that they used on the barracks, Alexis is doing the SM sign, and the guy behind him did it backwards. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, that. Everyone, everyone's done this though. I mean, I, I did it. It's true. Everyone has. Wait, wait, he threw it up like that. He, th he just threw it up. Yeah. He twisted his fingers and he got confused. Yeah. No, you see what happens is that when you throw up the SM, if you're getting ready to throw it up, if you can see it and it says SM in front of your face, then you it's fucked wrong. up. You gotta do it this way if you're gonna do a photo. Yeah. Uh, teach the youth. You know teach you the youth how to do it. Andrew, what is doing? I'm working on it. There. No. Hey, that's pretty backwards. good, right? That's uh, that's the backwards. It's backwards because of the forward camera. Good. Flip the finger. Oh, you're right. It probably is because of the camera. No, what are you doing? Fingers. Tell me the foot. Ah! Stick those pinkies out, down, girl. I yeah. can't anymore. They don't go any farther. They don't. No. I see. I like a dang. I like to dangle them. Like this. Like <laughs> I like my shit straight down, like that, like stupid. You like you like that? that far down. Yeah, Mine? that's weird, Drew. Fuck yeah, I got. How these, do you do it? I got these strong the pinkies. Look at these strong pinkies. Grant, let's look Grant. at yours. Grant, let me see yours. Let's see your form here. One Grant? Is there, his, are we yeah, his, two Grants? His, Can you his, not see it? With I, I, I see him really just fine. Together. I see it. Yeah. Hey, oh no, man, you're frozen. You're frozen on my shit. No, nah, I what see him fuck? just. No, he threw fine. it up. He's fine. He's, God, you dude, guys wanted this, it. so I gave you the mafia. It's just, it's just the app. Uh, Grant, you pointed yeah. out to me that Alexis, the first time he skated, the yeah. first day he ever skated, he did a kickflip. <laughs> That's, That's the funniest fuck. story. He swears by it too. Yeah. Yeah. He the sick thing. I was hyped that who, who, I didn't even notice or read who did the interview, but whoever did the interview, I was hyped that you tried to call him out on it, like. Yeah, yeah, they were like, no <laughs> way, like, whatever they said, I don't know. And Alexis is like, nah, for real, like, first day I did a kickflip. <laughs> I was like, no, wow, that is insane. Like, just skip the whole learning the ollie. Like, he just was born with an ollie, I guess, and he was yeah. able to. Yeah, I don't know, that's pretty funny. But yeah. I was hyped on that. And I don't know, because they, they called it like the 
A to Z interview because they they put like the A in Alexis big and then the Z at the end, end of Ramirez. It looks sick. I don't know if you that saw is, that. I like that. It looks like they'll have another A to Z interview because we're going to do probably not. We can do a Grand Fiero. Can't do it. G to O. <laughs> cut, cut it. Cut it short. I called the Alexis called me this morning. And he, he asked about how it was yesterday because I hung out with Mikey and those guys and Chris yeah. Ray. And then so I asked him about it. I said, you know, Grant told me that I read a little bit of your interview. He said, yeah, that shit's hella long. I said, it's, it's, I, I thought I was almost done. It was just like a whole nother section. <laughs> and then I told I asked him, I said, you did a kid for the first day? He said, yeah. He said, I put that on. Like, I mean, it wasn't hella swaggy, but I put that on. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> was he just chilling back then too? Yeah, I, he, I mean, he, he's always just, uh, he was born chilling, right? Yeah, he was a chilly dog when he was born. Moving right along, almost <laughs> am video. There's a new am video coming out through almost skateboards. Dude, I'm trying to remember where I even saw that. I, I'm the one that wrote that. Who, who said that? are the almost like who are their ams? Because I looked. No, on but you saw that too, Angie, didn't you? Where did that come from? I don't. I have oh, no idea. Yeah, yeah. This, this is horrible. Down, I no, I've never. I know. I know someone said it. We no, look someone, very <laughs> amateur. We, we have no source. Contact. We're <laughs> saying we're, this might never be real. No, listen. I I even looked on their website and they don't have any AMs listed on their website. It's almost all pro. a podcast. That's what we it, are now. Hey, isn't Yuri Am on on almost? Yes, he is. No, yes. he's on blind. I thought he was on blind. And you mean Yoshi? You mean no, Yoshi? Yuri. No, 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 no. Yoshi is on stereo. Yeah. Oh, and those that boards are so pretty. We sound so horrible right now. Who, who, <laughs> who's Yuri on? I don't know, cause he was Yuri on blind, blind I almost. Yeah, he's I on blind. I thought he used to be on almost the those. All, okay, the failures. All, I didn't realize Eunice was pro, but they have him listed. Oh, no, you're what? crazy. He's on almost. You guys are I know stupid. he's pro. I he's mean, I know. Well, then when, when did that happen? When did that happen? Yesterday? You happened yesterday. Dead, bro. I... No. The failure. No, you're, look, Yuri's on almost. You guys were tripping. <laughs> you're tripping on where you getting this sword okay, from. Okay, next subject. No. <laughs> yeah, we should skip that anyway. I don't know, but I guess expect it. Dude, wait. <laughs> Now we're you skipping know where topics. That was from? No, I remembered. I remembered. So we're trash. Oh, and hilarious. the barracks, because you know they came out with the um, the freaking recruit. From who? Yeah, Tyson from Barbank. <laughs> yeah, Tyson Barbank. He's on almost. There you and go. Had a little interview with him. Yeah. And he, talked, and he said it. He said they're gonna work. They're working on an almost M video. So I yeah. recovered. Oh, there you go, go to the barracks. There That's the go. source. Sorry but you know what? I should find that I should yeah. find that interview again because I was looking for it last night because I was looking for one specific thing that I remembered and I can't uh, find that interview again. I don't know what to tell you. Look harder. I don't know. Because he's, yeah. he's, <laughs> he's from there. Utah, right? Like I'm remembering tons of stuff from it. He's from Utah, right? Wait, what you're, really you big in, you're really big in to know where people's from. I find that interesting. I think that's why. Sick. I don't, I don't, she's I don't, trying to rep Minnesota. She, she wants uh, someone else from Minnesota, too. She uh, got I, Davis, though. It's Montana. Let's get it straight. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got a lot. We've got a lot. We've got more than just... Oh, no, you do. Minnesota's got some good some right good coming out of there, for sure. Yeah. Um, but, well, and the reason I was looking, because I believe he said that he stays with Alec Majerus sometimes when he comes to California. He still lives in Utah. But that he stays with Alec when he comes to California. Who skateboarders came from Utah? That's tight. You think there's yeah, is it uh, Lizard King? No, nah, Lizard King's yeah, not Lizard from King. Utah, is he? Salt Lake City, so. I believe. Yeah. Salt there Lake. Are a lot of oh, that is Utah. Huh? Lake City. Yeah, Damn, there you go. Utah, That's amazing. King. I thought skateboarders yeah. just come out of New York and San Diego. That's weird. You know what else he <laughs> talked about? You know what else he talked about though in that interview too? He talks about Eunice shooting his recruited at the same time, doesn't he? I think he did. Eunice and would get a battle commander, not a recruit. There you go. There you go. Well, Eunice already had a battle commander. Yeah. Okay. They're yeah. saying they're he was, ah, yeah, he was that is a that at the same thing. time. And ah, they brought up that he has a really bad temper, like when he doesn't land stuff. That Who's he, that? Eunice. Eunice looks like, got a little mad. looks like he needs to just be chilling. <laughs> He's got to go Alexis mode. <laughs> you know, the Barracks is posting a lot of good content. Okay, I hear feedback. Who needs to wear headphones? I Justin. got them in. 
Testing. I don't know, but sadly I have to go to work, so I only get like 10 minutes today. All right, but before what? you leave... Wait, you're leaving now. Uh, you could spit out a question. What up? Uh, are you into Uh-oh. Are you into Spitfires? <laughs> what does that mean? Nothing. Next question. Next topic. The next topic is the Bex is throwing out a lot of. What is content. so funny? Nothing. I don't. I don't know, but I don't want Grant to go. I have to. I, I, Being, yeah. You're leaving me with these two. I have work. There's no. There's no choice here. I'm sorry. Skip play for life. You'll see me next week. Oh, <laughs> no, what an outro! You can just leave now. Hey, you know, you know, I like that outro. See ya. That was a good outro. That Next was. topic is John Dixon's had a banging. Did he do a fakey flip? <laughs> no, it, dude. Why is it feedback? I can hear it on yours only, Drew. It's probably because I got a loud voice. I got hella headphones on. Do you see these things? These are See mine right smart. here, player. All right. Uh, did John Dixon do a fakie flip? Yeah, didn't he? I know, I know he did the big switch flip at the end over the four block or the three block or whatever the fuck it is. I think that's why I was aiming towards. He almost ran oh, over his dog. I saw that part. He's bringing dogs to the park? That should be like a health regulation. That's scary. Don't like, you hate that? I don't, like, I don't like when animals are in the present. I feel like they could bite me. Yeah. I'm personally scared of dogs. Oh God. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Nike Ams of Chicago, Angie. This is mm, your topic. Take over. This is my topic. Um. So I don't like. Where do I start? What do I? You start start from the beginning. beginning. That's a good spot to start. Okay. So from the beginning. Um. So I got into Chicago on Friday night. And I went down to Grant Park because they were supposed to be skating there. Um, And I was supposed to meet up with them, actually. But it was raining and nasty, um, so they weren't down there. But I ended up meeting up with them at Uprise, which is, like, this really awesome um, skate shop in downtown, like, North North Chicago, right, Mike? Yeah, North Chicago. Okay. Um, And uh, just... I just kind of like hung out and talked with them. I talked to Deshaun um, in length uh, because I was doing an interview for UnitedSkateboarding.com. Go check that out. Yeah. Um, and let's see, who else? Um, like Yoshi kind of hit us up while we were talking and Zion. Um, but so anyways, that was Friday night. Um then Saturday was the competition. Oh, they were supposed to have a best trick contest Friday night too, but they canceled that because of the rain. So Saturday um, went down to Grant again, and that was the competition. So I got there, I don't know, about halfway through the first um, the first run, uh, and then the top ten made it to the um, finals. Um, so of course, like, you, know, you know who the top ten were. All the Nike guys except for um, hmm. Mini Who's Mikey Taylor. Nike these days? Mini Mikey Taylor. Midler. Midler, yes. All the Nike Ams made it on except for Midler. Uh, there was a kid from Minnesota. Um, Reese is his last name. I have forgotten his first name. Um, and he skates for Third Layer. Did you call him Reese? I didn't call him Reese, no. Um, And then there was a kid from Encinitas. Am I saying that right? Yes, that's correct. Um, Who was... was, He was a younger kid. Um, I want to say he's Flo for girl. Or he's Am for girl. Um, I don't know. I don't remember his name. Um, And then... How will he do? Who took first place? Who took first place in the whole competition? Yes, please. Um, Zion. No, Yoshi, Yoshi, yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi. Yeah, I was going to say, it's fucked Zion, up that you say Zion. There was, yeah, there was a lot of um, trash talk afterwards. Yeah. That Why is that? Zion Tell me about the controversy. I love to Bruh. hear this. Well, I, oh, I, I mean, Zion was just hucking it up. I mean, just killing it. And he's so fast. He skates so, so fast. Mm. But... Um, 
I don't know. The, the other thing that I noticed Zion skating that I didn't notice Yoshi skating as much as, like, and you guys might have to help me here, but Mike at Grant, they have that, like, giant, like, quarter. Is it, like, a quarter pipe yeah. kind of that goes up, like, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, and I did see Zion skating that a ton, and I didn't yeah. see Yoshi doing no too much on was. that. No one else uh, was. No, that's that. wrong. Uh, no, Dylan, I mean, like, Dylan in general. Whitkin, Dylan Whitkin was doing amazing things on that, too. I mean, like, but, in general, like, people don't really skate that thing. Oh, no, you don't even notice it. it. It's fucking huge. Like skating on that's it. A, that, hey, uh, Drew, she's talking about the thing that uh, Raven Kershay alley 5 0 Oh, they actually skated a real spot? No, no, this is Grant Skate Park. Oh, that's right. But no, dude, going off of what Angie was saying, like, I knew probably 20 different people up there that day, and every single one of them says that Zion won that contest. What about Dylan Whitkin? I mean, he's doing gnarly stuff on the wall, too. You don't think he deserved to win? No. I got, dude, everyone I know was just, like, so stoked on Zion. Like, he, yeah, they were, like, he, he they were saying that he was, like, the clear winner. Like, everyone was like, dude, when they said Yoshi won, I was like, what the fuck? You know, I, I remember just now was Zion was the end of the destination in the Matrix. He wanted to go to Zion. That's sick. <laughs> I think I think he wanted to get the tricks in first place. It's uh, like a- the holy city, Smith. bro. Agent so Smith Zion's. wanted to go there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so who do you b- both believe? And I'll start with Angie. Who do you think deserved to win? Um, I mean, I think it was close because Yoshi was really mm. like on his game that day too. Mm. But I'm kind of, I don't know, I don't know. Probably you don't know. Probably, probably, probably. Zion. Probably, yeah, Zion. I agree. Okay. Just because, but it's hard for me because I can't be like he did a switch front. Right. Tray flip down the ten stair. Like I can't, I can't say that, but I can say like he was doing really cool stuff down the stairs. Um, yeah, I did. One eighty. And, and he was just so so fat. Like he was just going so fast and. So Zion, huh? I Bro, Zion's like the fucking that. truth, man. I was getting yeah. Snapchat to that fool all day. Okay, so who do you think deserved to win there, Medina? Like I said, I wasn't there, so it's like obviously my opinion is a little less. You know, credible. accurate, I guess, credible even, yeah. But um, from what I, I, like I said, man, I got probably 30 Snapchats of just Zion and Yoshi that day, and like, fuck, man. Oh, so, I, so, so out of the two, who would you say? Zion, dude. Like, the Zion? Way he's, okay, he's just, two, two way Zions, Zion. okay. But you know what, who was kind like, of a sleeper, though, that um, Robert Neal, who is flow oh, awesome. or, or primitive. is an AM for primitive, yeah, he... He's flow for primitive, of, I don't think he's AM yet. Okay. No, they're gonna they're gonna um, they're not gonna announce him as Am until they turn Diego or Trent Pro or both of them for that matter. So he, but he was he oh, ended up oh, with trust me, I know I know what a whole boy Robert Neal could do. Oh, he's he good as fuck. He got hot. He got. Dude, all I'm saying is, it, what what did Deshaun play? Third? No, it was Neal third, Zion second, and Yoshi, and Yoshi first. Yoshi first. Who? Where was Deshaun in there? Um, I know he was I, pretty high up. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, because dude, Deshaun footage, man. He wow. won. He won best trick. Yeah, best trick. <laughs> yeah. What was the best trick? I heard that the be- all the best Something tricks. Down this- was like- it was hard because the best trick was like just everybody going at the same time. Uh, they call that jam format. Over. I don't like yeah. jam format. Um, you don't like that? I, I, I think don't, that's sick. I, I don't call not- it the carcass toss. Uh, yeah, I do not. not- <laughs> I also don't like watching it, and I'd hate to participate in it. I've never been in a skate contest myself, but that looks just fucked. Well, and I heard, I overheard, like, some of the Nike guys, not that they were being rude about it or whatever, but they were kind of complaining because it literally anybody could have went out there and Yeah, and sure. Skated, so. Anyone could get a guy hit. There was, like, a guy oh, right You walk up the stairs, and then you got a Sean Jordan doing 360-360 flip on your face. Dude, that's Chicago as <laughs> fuck, though, bro. Hey, yeah, that's well, how I do it always. Every well, yeah. competition or anything I've ever seen in Chicago has always been jam format like that. You know how we do it? We do, in California, we do uh, velvet lines. You know how they do over there at the movie theater? We have those lines. You go yes, one sir. at a time. Single file. <laughs> one at a time, bitches. That's Safety hilarious. first. Every trip, every day. Next question. Next topic. Oh, oh, Graham, your selfie. Yeah, I don't... Who came up with that? 
Mine? That's me. That's one of my topics. Did you see Wait, it? No. I, I couldn't find that anywhere. I found the element opening the park in Boise, but I couldn't find it I saw it on YouTube. Selfie. On the barracks YouTube. Oh. Dude, it is fucked up. Mason Silva does a hard flip indie. And then um, the things that stood out, um, Grayson Fletcher has probably the best forward flip slash dolphin flip I've ever seen in my entire life. He Guys, out seriously. tops Jimmy Carlin and Darrell Stanton. Dude, oh, man, Darrell's is the truth. Oh, man, I don't know. Dude, you have to see it. Did you watch the edit? Can't say that I did. Dude, the forward flip alone is worth watching that edit. I promise you. You know, you really won me over with a hard flip bendy. I've never seen that trick done in the history of ever. Really? I've seen people do it like off of bump at a skate park, but never in the streets, really. You know ninjas in Chicago that do hard flip bendies? <laughs> I, I can think of one person right now, yeah. My goodness. You know what? Maybe we need to switch to jam format in California. <laughs> that sick. is crazy. No, I've never seen that. Okay, well, I'll make a note of that. Yeah, check out the Element Gram Your Selfie. Now, you said it was on the YouTube. Uh -huh. it, that was a new upload by the YouTube? It was never posted on the website? I have no, no. idea if it was. Hmm. I, I don't think so because I couldn't find it anywhere. But, you know, to think about it, the primitive one just came out today, but that was, like, what, right. over a month ago that but they actually what, did it. You so. want to know what's interesting about the search? If Well... If memory serves, the way that they do their YouTube channel, they'll upload the older YouTube channels. I don't know if this is new or not, though. But they'll upload all the older uh, stuff that has been on the site, and they'll upload it on YouTube. Now, the problem, if you tried Angie to use a search box, that search box is a la is janky right now. There's stuff that, like, there was a, it's a, it was a segment called For the Record. They're about to bring it back. I don't know if I should have said that. But it was Barrett doing as many fakey flips as he could. It was around his birthday. It was a few years ago. I filmed that. So I tried to look for it on the search box, but there's nothing you could – you can't – puh, what the fuck did I just eat? Puh. <laughs> there was nothing on that search box. It, show, it shows nothing. So did you try to use search box? Um, I think – well, I thought that it was current, so, so I just looked went at it to the home page. I went to news, I think, and went back to quite a few paper, paper, not papers, quite a few pages, quite a few scroll downs. Scroll downs. All right. What else we got going on here? Brendan Vell and the Wave of Thrash Apart. That's something I did see. That's probably the only thing I saw this topic was. No one else saw it, huh? Busy. Saw what? No one else saw Brendan Vell and the Wave Apart? Oh, that was fucking gnarly. You know what I'm, stoked? I'm so stoked on the, um, like, okay, when when I first, I never heard of him, so talk never. all the shit you want. I swear, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm awful for that, but fuck, dude. He's from ST, right? Yeah, actually, I yeah. knew him when he was a kid. That's amazing, but anyway, I'm sorry, yeah, I, I honestly, I just saw, I was like, I saw the thumbnail of the nose grind on that big-ass handrail. No, oh, his ender is stupid. So I was like, duh, of course I'm going to watch this fucking part, you know? Mm -hmm. So I turned it on, and like the first thing I noticed about him is he he dresses exactly like a no comply slappy impossible kid, but he does like the good shit. Yeah. Like he threw a random kickflip footprint in there, and he has a few. I think there's a few wall rides too, correct? Yeah. He, but yeah, he does, for the he, most part, yeah. it's like either hammers or techie type tricks, which that's more of the style of skating that I'm into. So I was yeah. really, really stoked just like for it to not be a bunch of no complies and shit. I guess you know what else is jacked up is is a gentleman named Nolan. I don't know his last name. He did a hard flip indie down the sports arena double set. Hard flip I thought you should just said you'd never seen a hard flip indie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bill Jackson just texted me about this. Oddly oh, enough, he told me to stay off my phone and listen to Angie, but now he's texting me shit. So he needs to make up his fucking mind, dumbass. <laughs> Always hated that kid. <laughs> Next topic. Thanks, Next Billy. Topic. Hey, so hold on. Not to jump topic or anything. Oh, no, let's hey. jump topics because hey, we're almost Angie. out. No, yeah, what? Angie, did you see the, um, was it Ride Channel edit that Chicago, that they did of the Nike Amps in the streets in Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that was super sick. He actually, he took them to like some really decent spots in the city for sure. 
Yeah, I liked it. Well, and you could tell that those spots were skated, but I... Um, oh, yeah, they've been oh, murdered. Wasn't it, like, by the lake, uh, that, like, that curved... The seawall. I want to press yeah. that clip it for my part. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That, that was probably my favorite part. And I know there were um, a few guys from, like, Minneapolis area that were out there and were filming stuff there, too, but... It, that I didn't realize it was as difficult as, Dude, as when you the when you see people to be. No, like when you see people skate it and like they make it look easy, like it is so fucking hard to skate. Well, yeah, I mean, because the Nike guys look like they were having a hard time skating. Like it. for real though, like everyone thinks it's like the perfect skate obstacle, and like no, that is and then definitely not. They the ended up. Who ended up having to get? Um, did somebody had to get a bike to like pull them right to have? Oh, that, I think they were just that? goofing around. I think they were just goofing around. But to, like, who was have... that? That was to... um, was that Dylan? I can't remember. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But I liked seeing like the the older guys from um, Spot Tampa. Oh skating. yeah, there's... that was I fun. Love those yeah. Paul Zitzer. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah Bitzer, he was Bitzer the one. Was awesome. Paul and... Zitzer trying to do like a frontside alley or something. Yeah. That was awesome. That was and then um, who's who's the guy that ran the competition? I can't remember his name, but he was skating a little bit too, and I thought that was fun. I also Dude. liked to see Mike Sinclair riding a bicycle. Mike Sinclair is awesome. That was entertaining. My, one of a, a friend of a friend showed it, showed the Nike team around to those spots, and Sinclair sent him like a stupid box for it. He didn't send me anything. Uh, well, it's because he literally <laughs> like the guy. The guy literally <laughs> took him around to the spots. Oh no, no, I was. <laughs> like holy shit, Nike's Nike's definitely got it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I like, mean, it was such a nice, like ten pairs of shoes. It's such a nice like it was a, a very nice group of young men as well, uh -huh. um, just to talk to. And I mean, I could be a bit weird to approach people and ask them if I could interview them about skateboarding, oh, but. But they were all super nice and um, totally willing to like Snapchat and and mm -hmm. chat and um, just hang out and so yeah it was it was a fantastic weekend and I got to meet Steve Barra so that was exciting um, and that rodent guy that works for Skateboard Mag um, I talked to him for a while so yeah it was super cool it was a good time I was I was definitely geeking out and I was a little starstruck by. Some amateur skateboarders. But. <laughs> That's sick, though. Oh, well. it's just you gotta start. Able, yeah. It's just because you're able to see them on the internet, man. Like the internet makes everything cooler these days. I feel like, as yeah. far as exposure goes. How do you keep up with all the amateur skateboarders, Angie? You know more about amateur skateboarders than I do. I never heard of a uh, of a uh, Dylan Wilkin before. How do you keep up with all these yeah. cats? Um. I don't. I guess mostly through Instagram. Like you I don't. You spend that I much have, on Instagram to? How do you find them? What, what are you? I don't. I, I don't know like half these people. Me. No, I just I don't. Mean, I'm trying to understand how do you okay, what's the approach. Here, what's the technique? The, Teach yeah. a thing or two. Here's my thing. Okay, so I'm first of all I'm just a sponge. Like when it comes to skateboarding, so I just remember whatever I read. But I think like I just stumble upon like. If somebody posts something um, and they, like, tag their friends in it or, like, I, I don't know. Like, if there are tags, I just click on them and add them on Instagram, add them on Twitter, add, like, if they have a Facebook page. Like, I just add them everywhere and I just saturate myself with it. I guess that's kind of bad. But, I mean, once school How's starts, it bad? Well, I don't, I don't know. I mean... Don't seem bad to me. At one point, I was following like over two thousand people on Instagram, so I had to. I had You're to shitting like, me. No, I'm serious. How many people do you follow right now? I think I. How many am people too. do I follow now? You but have sixteen, the... twenty-seven people, and you you're able to keep them all. Shout out to myself because I'm lit. Who said that? She did. <laughs> That's on her Instagram. That's sick. She's lit. Stop! What you guys are picking on me tonight? No, I'm not oh, picking. What am I doing? <laughs> so, no, so, I don't know. If you, I just, if you follow all these people, and you, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, that that's cool. Who's JP? Yeah, it's JP Souza here. Okay. Um, I don't. I mean, not that I'm gonna be able to remember every single person that I follow, uh, but I just I forgot about James Rift. No, I'm just looking through your stuff here. Upright Skate Shop. Colin, I don't follow Colin Promos. 
Nope. Uh, I mean, and those guys, like, and if I watch anything, like when I watched King of the Road, Mm -hmm. like, I just, like, oh, he's cool. I'm going to add him. He's cool. I'm going to add him. And I don't know. That's just how it happens. And then I watch their videos, and I remember who they are, and then I'll, like, see them on the barracks, and I make connections in my Mm -hmm. brain. I don't know. I see, I see you follow uh, Sierra Fellows. You know who, who who sponsors him? Who? Sierra Fellows. You know who he's on? Um, is he crooked? He is mystery. Oh, sorry. You know what's interesting? I don't see what shoe sponsor he rides. Cause I actually thought he used to he used to be on Ramshackle. He used to be on Circa. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't show Circa I know he anymore. He had a pro model for Circa. That actually, I think I skated them. Hmm. Mr. Sierra Fellers. This is kind of a cool game. Let's keep it going. Let me see, okay. Let me see if you know who... This game's sick. <laughs> who does Angie know? <sighs> who is Cody Cepeda sponsored by? Who is Cody Cepeda sponsored by? Yeah, let's start with his board um, and start with his shoes. Board? Ugh, you guys, you can't do this to me. I know. I know because I've seen him... Can't do it. I <laughs> can't do it. Can't I do love it. him too. I love him. You don't know um, that he rides for Sovereign in DC. Oh, duh, Sovereign. Yes, I know he rides for Sovereign. DC's been supporting him for quite a while, if I'm not mistaken. I follow him on Snapchat. That's the other thing too. Like if they if if they if people list their Snapchat, then. Like I always just add them on Snapchat too. Now Snapchat's a big, a big player in the game, but it has recently been taken over by the Insta Stories. Are you on both taken of them? Taken over? I would never say taken over. I would I, say so. I, I, you know, you are insane them. if you think Instagram yes. has taken over Snapchat. You know why I say that is because Mikey Taylor told me yesterday too that he spends a lot more time doing it than Snapchat because he gets more views on his Snapchat. Versus his, I mean, oh, honest, it's the game. I thought you were story. referring to like. As I, a that's whole. what I like about about the Instagram too. Is like, so everybody I follow on Instagram, I can now see their videos. Whereas Snapchat, you you can search by name, but you have to know. That is okay. I'll, give you, I'll definitely give you that. I'll definitely but, give you. That. But, th- those are both two things that are taking over the game. But yeah, then, but as again, far as in the world of skateboarding, yeah, mm-hmm. but in the world of like, like of dog filters. Society, you know what Mikey told me too? He said, I guess Snapchat, I should have confirmed with this though first. I'll tell you what he told me. That Snapchat made a Twitter account just to say that you bitches aren't going anywhere because of the dog filters. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's true. I saw that. DBS just put out, a, or not just put out, but they put out a toe capper I'm seeing here. Show DBS Cedar. Show it to me. They got to stay trendy. Trying to get their feet back. Gotta stay trendy. Mm. They'll make they'll make a laceless one now too. Hey. <laughs> well, that looks like all the topics. We didn't have much talk about this week. No, that's all not all of them. Yeah, it is. It's no. Well, tell me one I forgot. Bombaclats. Who? Oh, Butt man. Clots. Who? Drew, Drew, you need to watch it, dude. It's fucking awesome. Butt cloth. If you, if you oh, translate it... Oh, Yeah, if you translate it into English, it's butt cloth. What is that? What is it? Yeah. It's like a... It's a group of guys. I don't think they're all European, though. A lot of them are European, but, like, Dylan Whitkin... Again, yeah, they're not all European. He's not European, but the whole video is shot in Europe, like, different parts around Europe. Tell me um, more about it, because I feel like you know where all the guys are from. I don't I think, know where all the you guys don't? are from. No. But Dan, Don, Vanderlinden, Don, Don Vanderlinden yeah. was, oh. um, was featured in it. And I, I, don't, I didn't really know a lot of the other guys. I just knew him and Dylan. But it's all, it's actually, you can watch all the parts on... Um, a website called Free Skateboarding Magazine, I believe. Free um, or F R E E. F R E E, and I don't know if that's a European website. It might be, um, but they already they they premiered it, um, but it was 
in Europe, of course. Um, but I, I mean, I watched all the parts and I thought it was super cool. And one thing that I just like about it, I think, is that I like watching people skate places that you don't see in every single skate video or every single Instagram clip. Like, totally. that's what I, that's what I like about watching guys skate in New York City. Like, I hear guys complain about skating in New York City because. Like, you're literally skating from spot to spot everywhere, and the spots can be kind of crusty, but I, I just like it because it's something new. I mean, I, I think it's impressive when I see people do stuff down that crazy set in Manhattan Beach or, um, you know, the elementary schools all over L.A. I think that's cool, and I like it, but I also like to see guys, like, using their imagination and skating really gnarly stuff other places, too. Mm. And nobody's listening to me. Everybody's looking at their phone. No, I'm, I'm, checking out the, I'm listening. You see, that's the beautiful thing about a podcast is you can listen and do other shit at the same time. That's right. You know, when I, I was talking about the MMA Hour, my favorite podcast I was referenced based off of the my other show, The Skate 60 and The Skate Filet Show, is that you could – they get over 200,000 200, views just on YouTube alone. Could you imagine the people that just listen to them on their car? Yeah, that's, that's how most of like the that's adults how, listen to it is like in their car. Uh -huh. I have to check our stats, but we, we get a good amount of downloads. Uh, it doesn't tell me how people listen to them, but the amount of downloads is in the thousands. That's good. Um, well, if you want to know more about Bomba Clats, you can go to unitedskateboarding.com. There is a post there. And there is a post there. There's also a post about, have you guys seen um, the... Uh, Boulevard, like, spoof on the Olympic Games for their new board series that they made? No, but I can't wait to see it. Well, it's on United Skateboarding, but right. it's really, really great. I loved it. Like, they, so, like, for the different writers, they created these kind of, like, parody um, spoof like Olympic sports, so like one of them has something to do with the Zika virus, and mm. I don't know, just really funny, funny stuff. It's it's a funny, it's only like two or three minutes, but um, so it has some skateboarding, and then they have really funny stuff about kind of these fake fake Olympic competitions that they're participating in, and those so, play off of the graphics on their boards. We didn't have you on the show when we uh, we shared our thoughts as far as the Olympics being announced in this year's uh, in this year in the 2020 mm -hmm. games. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on it, Angie? What are my thoughts? Yes, please. Um, I I think that well, I've been asking like everybody that I interview what their thoughts are on it, and most of the guys that I talk to seem to be pretty positive about it, and just that there's more exposure for skateboarding and um, you know like when you're exposing more people to it how could it be bad and I don't like Robert Brink had a really good post about it I think um, that you know like you can think you can think whatever you want but in the end if it gets more people skateboarding then what's what's bad about it um, but your thoughts my thoughts personally I mean yeah I think it's cool I you know like my oldest son is totally, like, he can't stop talking about it being an Olympic sport now. Um, and, I don't like, today he wanted to know if Paul Rodriguez was going to skate in the Olympics. Of course I he is. I told him, I don't know if Paul will still be, still be um, at that level in four years. Maybe he will be. Bah! Um, bah! Bah! He'll be, he'll <laughs> be number one. We I had a gonna discussion get the about it. Who, who we thought would maybe be skating at the Olympics. So, Nigel Houston. Um, Paul Rodriguez. Paul Pirat. Well, you know, you know what brought that up? We just watched his, um, his part today, that plan B, that last plan B part that he made. What you was myself it? and I. Yeah, and it was so cool. We loved it. So, that kind of started the P-Rod thing again. Um, and well, and he knows Deshaun because I have Deshaun gave me one of his boards mm -hmm. um, after I interviewed him. So we talked if Deshaun would be in the Olympics. Um, it could be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a young guy. I could see any of those Nike AMs really being there. But um, I mean, for me, I think it's awesome just because you're exposing kids to it, um, and totally. in a positive way. Um, 
because you know, like you go to a local skate park anywhere, and it is always going to be stereotypically kind of a bad place to hang around. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think just having some positive role models out there for kiddos who are interested in doing it is always a positive thing. So I don't know. I mean, and I love, I, I love the. Um, Instagram accounts that have been created around skateboarding in the Olympics. I'm highly amused by them. So, well, they've been My, I still I still like the Henry Jones one. Uh, well, that was just a couple days ago, right? Laura, it's like, what do you think of, of oh. skateboarding in the Olympics? And the guy's just like, I'm just hanging out or yeah. something. Yeah, something I'm, like, I'm, just, like, I'm just chilling. I'm just here to skate. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I'm but like, that's well, I've been it like literally like. Well, Everybody, it's just well, going to be a street league in a on a higher platform. This thing yeah, that you, I mean, the thing you just tagged me in, Mike. What is this? Uh, I don't know. It's wearing a backpack. I was just going to bring that up. Is that a new company that he's involved in, or what? Bravo Co. Worldwide. I don't know what that is. Are you? Do you? Nope. Looks like it may be something that he's is it? involved in because he's doing modeling for it. Usually, Bossman does that if he's got like his hand in it. Bossman Ooh. needs money. Reynolds with the new Foxtrot www.bravocoworldwide.com. Someone check that out for me. I'm gonna have to. Um. Maybe they got a team. That's what I'm looking up. That's my question too. Yeah, they got a team, and that's the About Me page about. Uh, build your water comes out in two weeks. So those who are thirsty for coconut water, get your Serp Serp two weeks from now. I'm excited. They're gonna have like chocolate flavored coconut water. I'm a more of an original fan, but yeah, I mean, chocolate's cool. I could see that being a popular seller. I, I mean, I guess it would be worth a try. Um, so Chris Roberts posted that Play Factory um, Instagram account, and that one's hilarious. That's all, um, yo, like, yo, spoofs on... Oh, sorry. oh, that's okay. On Olympic... Like, they took... <laughs> my. This is my favorite one. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's too bright. They took like Olympic athletes and put oh, their yeah. pieces on them. And oh, I've one, seen that. I've seen that. This one's Ashad. Um, <laughs> yeah, pole vaulting. <laughs> doing the longboard toss. That's, and that's I don't know. Sick. There, I, I liked that. I liked the. Um, and then there's the one like with Nija in the. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, that was bad. The, the oh, suit. Yeah. But I mean, these are all good questions. I Thrasher posted something. About what, like, they That's who I think posted, the, we posted it, yeah. The Olympic um, outfits looking like, and that seems to be getting a lot of, um, I don't know. Yeah, attention, sure. Got a lot of people talking, sure. Yeah, people talking, sure. But, that's, that's funny. I mean, there's concerns with, like, are they going to pass the drug test? And, oh, they'll yeah. pass it. There'll be some kind of gigantic money incentive that'll be like, yeah, no more weed for a week. There, I read an interview though too with um, the head of I don't, one of the skateboarding leagues, um, and and it was brought up like what they would do about sponsorships and uniforms and. They're gonna do um, like snowboarding, I bet. He basically said that there's like they they have no idea. Like really, anything that you read right now, I feel like they're just saying just we say. have we have no idea. Like what are the like you know like how are they gonna be competing? We have no idea. Well, or, they're working know, on it. They got they got a few years to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna it's, be heavily street league. It just it just got announced. You can't have all those questions answered. It's fun to speculate, but we're not gonna yeah. really know anything concrete. Probably another pff, maybe three years. Yeah, but know. hey, uh, hey, channeling back to Bravo Co. Worldwide. Yes, tell me. Uh, there is no team, mm -hmm. but I did find out a little bit more information. Apparently, it's a Tiba's bag company. Sick as fuck. Yeah, that's sick. That's that bag says bag. all right there. He has a bag company. Yeah, Bravo Co. Worldwide. I'm, there we go. I'm, I gotta stay true to my Herschels. You know what? <laughs> I, you gotta stay true to following Bravo Co. and then keep up with all the updates, Angie. Okay. All yeah. right. I'll do that. Push that. I'll go follow. I'll go follow them right now. Do it, please. They, they have a good we number need to turn of followers. That, we need to get you back at two thousand follows. I know, Apparently. right? Apparently, they have been out for a minute. Uh, well, see, that's um, the power of the boss man. 
Yeah, right. He just makes one post, and now everyone's like, "Oh, right, let's get it. Bravo, Reynolds! Bravo!" Let's get it. Amer America Mate comes out soon. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for this. Holy shit! I wish I wish I lived in California so I could like be the nerdy person going to all these premieres. Do you? Uh, do you remember Jerry Sue's excellent uh, marketing for it? Of course. How yes. Could you, how could yeah. you forget? <laughs> that, was, that commercial is like one of the best I've ever seen for a video. Most simply done too. Smart. Yeah, the mo it's what it costs like ten bucks. Yeah. It was funny. He yeah, it was I. He, killed, I was he like it's like funny, but at the same time it's, it's so like, matter of fact. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna do this. Yeah. yeah, I love it. <laughs> I, think, tell, I love when he starts listing people who are gonna have to like a part. I'm just like, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who takes last part? I hope it's Boss Man. I guess it's supposed to be uh, his last part. I think right? it's fucking Boss Man too, man. I, I think so. so too, probably. It'll most Hammer likely time. be his last America part. Hammer time, bitches! Here it comes. <laughs> God damn, I can't wait for that. You guys imagine, can... imagine if one day Muska fucks up and drops another part. Um, Funny oh, things have man. happened. Angie, who do, you think, who do you think will have last part in the American video? I agree with you guys. You say boss man? Yeah. I just, he's, I mean, he's done the most, I feel like he's done the most promoting of it and um, has yeah, talked I mean, about you it. You never know, it could, be, it could be an AM though, they could do it. Could. They could surprise us. I why don't not, think so. Why not Jerry? Why do you think Jerry's not going to take it? I hope Jerry has the opener. That'd be sick. But not the ender, huh? He's I just not. I, I don't know. I just feel like the boss man is like iconic to that. Brand. So is Jerry, though. Yeah, Jerry's, I mean, Jerry's I don't. I don't know. Part was all switch and nollie. I don't know a lot about him. Up. So that's and I up. see that's my problem. Like. Talk about an AM or somebody new, like that's been around for a year, and I could tell you quite a bit. But talk about like Ardo Sorry, R. L. Stein. What? No, no Ardo Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I've heard that name before. That's my third favorite skateboarder of all time. Of all time. <laughs> of all yeah. time. Medic Madi is something to do. I've watched that. I watched that. Is, that is the banger of all bangers. <laughs> well, but I, think, I have to I find that. I think the them. dog is going to end the show today. That was a good way to go <laughs> out. I love it. She's raging. She's For Grant Fierro, Michael Medina, and Angie Shanley, I am Andrew Ariano. Please download us on iTunes. We are Skate Filet. We will catch you guys next week. Take care.